Hey, this is Paul with Paul's Mobile Homes, and I wanted to talk with you about how to get a better credit score. Credit score is just, well, what is credit score, right? It's an arbitrary number given to each person based on their past history with the credit that's been given to them. Now, credit that's been given to you would be a company issues you a credit card, you use it, or maybe you abuse it a little bit, and they're going to score you based on your use of that card. You rent something, you get scored. You, you know, there's a lot of things that go into it, and you get loans, and you know, you get a score. Late payments bring down your score. Non-payments absolutely bring down your score. Having things go into collections really brings down your score. Because what are they? What take the word trust and substitute it for credit. When you have somebody who's a lender, that's somebody who's trying to make money by loaning money. That's the definition of what, that's what they're doing. They want to sit and make money by loaning you money. Well, if you think about it, it's kind of fair that you pay something to get loaned money. So it's not unfair that they get something for it. So they're trying to figure out who they can loan money to and get the money back without that person, you know, completely, you know, cheating them out of their money. So by looking at your past history, they feel they have a very certain crystal ball into the future of how you're going to handle credit in the future. And that's really what this whole subject is about. So if your past with credit has been bad, the way to fix, fix the future is go fix the past first. That's what they look at. Let's say you've got something in collections right now. The way to find this out, by the way, is pull up your credit report. Yeah, you can find out your score, but find out, get your report, see what's on it. Sometimes there's things you have to fix on that report that are inaccurate. You can do that. That's the subject of another conversation. Get that report. Let's say you've got something in collections. It's as simple as an old phone bill and you owe $600 for five years. Well, guess what? If that one's in collections, no one's loaning you anything. Here's the reason why. They see that you got this phone, you used the phone, you got the use out of it, you never paid for it, and you don't even bother to pay, even with a collection agency trying to get the money from you. If you don't have the $600 to pay that off, you could call that, those collection people, and make a payment plan. Maybe it's $25 a month, maybe it's $50 a month, something. Something so that you're making some kind of headway on that, and the people looking at the report see that you're not a deadbeat. You, you pay your bills, or you try to pay your bills. That's really what this is all about. They want somebody they can trust. You can just take that word trust, substitute it for credit, and that's what the whole thing is about. So if you want to increase your credit score and have a better credit score and get better interest rates and be able to get more things on credit, you've got to increase those lenders ability to trust you unfortunately it's all based on your report it's not based on the fact that maybe you lost your job when you got ill and couldn't make payments that does happen to some people but regardless of that it's really not factored into account so the only thing you can do and you can't everybody can do this is get the report see what's on it and start to fix it and make it better I hope this helps somebody with their credit score, improving their credit, and being able to get the things that they want more easily in life. This is Paul with Paul's Mobile Homes. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.